In this example, we're going to start talking about the Lorentz velocity transformation. And really just, you know, you can pick arbitrarily whatever you want. So in this example, we've got a cat flying on a broomstick to the right, headed towards the Starship Enterprise, which is flying to the left. So these two objects are headed towards each other. And we want to figure out what the cat sees the spaceship approaching it at. So the traditional way you think about this is, well, the cat's traveling at 70 times or 70 percent the speed of light, so 0.7 c, and the spaceship is traveling at 0.8 c. So traditionally you might just try adding them. It's 0.8, but that's that's not right because you're going to get a number which is greater than c, and we know that can't happen. So we need to use the Lorentz velocity transformation for this this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this cat on a broomstick to the S naught frame. So it's in the S naught frame with the origin knot and the x axis knot and the y axis knot, and we also have our regular frame, the y-axis and the x-axis. And now, uh, it's pretty straightforward actually, now we can just solve with this equation. So the u-x and u is just velocity, so u is just a, another fancy term, another variable for v, but u is v, v is u, but we have three different velocities now. We have the velocity of the cat on the broomstick, we have the velocity of the spaceship, and then we have the velocity of that the cat sees of the spaceship approaching it. So, we can start putting into our formula now. So the velocity that the cat sees the spaceship approaching is going to be equal to the velocity of the spaceship. And remember our convention that traveling left on the x-axis is negative. So it's going to give a negative 0.8c, but if this spaceship were traveling right, it would be positive. And then minus uh, velocity, so velocity traveling right on the x-axis is positive, but this is uh, part of the formula here, so that's why we need the negative there. So 0.7c. I mean, you can do the derivation yourself if you want, but it's easier to just get it down to this point. This is a great derivation, helps simplify things. Divide it by 1 minus the velocity of the spaceship, which is negative, so negative 0.8c times the velocity of the cat on the broomstick. Zero, I try to keep these fun. Hopefully you enjoy the cat and a broomstick. I think it's pretty, pretty fun. Divide it by c squared. And so what we're going to get here is the c's are going to cancel. And we're going to get negative 0.8 minus 0.7, so uh, negative 1.5c. Divide it by 1 minus, we'll just multiply these now, so negative 0.8 times 0.7, so minus a minus of 0 0.56, and the c's have cancelled, so they're gone away now. And this will ultimately be equal to 1 plus 0.56 on the bottom, the denominator, so negative 0 0.9 six one c and so you can see that we haven't broken any laws of physics because we haven't exceeded the speed of light and so in the traditional way this would be 1.5 c but you can't have that so thanks to the Lorentz velocity transformation we actually see that the cat from the cat's perspective the enterprise is approaching at negative 9.61 C 
and the negative sign is just because it's heading left on the x-axis. And that is essentially it. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.